Hello guys, welcome back to the Watch Addict. Hope you uh, had a good day. Today we're taking a look at the Trintec Zulu-01 Copilot. It's a pretty cool watch, comes in this nice leather kind of pouch here with a button up. And yeah, let's get into it guys. Alright guys, welcome back to the review. I have the watch out on the table and here it is. Obviously quite an aviation uh, inspired timepiece here. This is the Zulu-01 Copilot by Trintec. They're a Canadian company, they've been around for a few years, and I really like this model. Now this model sells for about $400 from their website, which will be in the description below, and you can save $50 if you use my special discount code, which should be up on the screen right now. Let's get into the watch. So we do have a very clean kind of pilot, three-handed uh, watch here, which is automatic by the way. Now, the case is a complete stainless steel case with a sandblasted matte finish. It does have uh, real screws here to hold on the uh, rubber strap here, which is very nice. We do have a Seiko NH35 uh, automatic movement, which uh, many of you are probably familiar with. It's a really reliable movement. It's, uh, it's not going to fail you. It's pretty accurate. Actually, this watch I timed for a day or two. And I was gaining about three or four seconds a day, which was pretty crazy um, for an NH35 movement. I'm not sure if they did something to it or not exactly sure, but this one uh, keeps excellent time. Um, you have your typical crown at the three o'clock position. We have your date at the between the four and the five position right here. We do have a nice kind of candle uh, seconds hand here. And the watch is not running now. I have to wind it up. And we do have a loom on this watch, which is really good. Um, I'll show you more of that towards the end of the video. And yeah, let's get into some basic dimensions. Well, the watch is 42 millimeters in diameter, which is a perfect size. Although we do have these kind of longer lugs here, which are 52 lug to lug. So the watch kind of, you know, wears like a 43 or a 43 and a half, I would say. Now we do have a 120 click unidirectional ratchet style bezel which is something different and I really like the feeling of it. You know, when you've seen so many watches with rotating bezels, uh, it's the small things like the clicks that make you happy, <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about. Um, the crown is screwed down, of course. We do have 200 meters of water resistance, which is great. You can definitely take this thing in the water uh, pretty much anywhere and you should be good to go. We also do have a genuine sapphire crystal, which is very nice. It's uh, pretty thick as well. Now, uh, look, the watch has actually started running already. Anyway, the uh, the first thing, I know people love the bezel action of watches, so I'm not going to make you wait. I'm going to show you the bezel action right now. It's really, it really feels quite nice, and it's very precise. Everything lines up very good. Let's line that up. And there we go, it lines up perfectly. The pip is loomed on the uh, bezel as well. Now we kind of have these skeletonized hands here, which I think are, uh, you know, it's, it kind of goes with the aviation theme. Now, none of these markers are applied. This is all printed on, including the Trintec below the 12 and the Zulu 01 Copilot above the six o'clock, but it's done very neatly. Now the bezel is etched out over here and it is filled in with white. Uh, this is not luminous, the bezel, but it kind of looks luminous because the white is so bright, so it kind of has this cool look to it. Anyway, uh, as I was saying, we do have 22 millimeter lugs here, which are pretty standard for a 42 millimeter case. The thickness of the piece is 15 millimeters, and the finishing on this watch is really nice. Uh, if you see, there's literally not one little blemish or anything like that. Uh, the finishing is really nice. We do have a plain crown here, which is quite large in size, but not overly large. It's very easy to grasp, and uh, I'm going to show you that right now. Pops out, pretty nice pop out. Now the self-winding is really smooth as well, as with most uh, NH35 Seiko movements. I'm going to pull it out again, and we can change the date. 
There we go. Oops, being blocked by the seconds hand. There we go. Now I'm going to pull it out again, and as you see, of course, this watch has hacking, so we can precisely set the time. The time set is very nice. There is some resistance, which I do love. So you can get directly on the markers, just perfectly. So yeah, screw that back in for your 200 meters of water resistance. And uh, I think what really brings this watch to life and really gives it that aviation theme are these longer lugs here, which kind of make it really look like a pilot watch in my opinion. Um, something about the, the way they did the lugs here, if you can see that, um, really adds to the design of the case. And uh, also, this comes on a rubber strap here, which is super soft. I don't, I don't know uh, exactly how they got it this soft, but it's like really soft, much softer than your average Seiko rubber strap that comes on your Seiko watches in the $300 price range, so like the Seiko Turtle or something like that. These are super flexible and super comfortable. Um, yeah, anyway, getting to the case back, we do have a screw down case back, which has the same finish as the rest of the piece. Um, on the case back, let me just peel this plastic here. Oop, come on. There we go. As you see, we do have a nice little airplane there. And um, yeah, done pretty nicely. Zulu 01 Copilot. Uh, 20 ATMs, it says. NH35A, which is the movement. Uh, all stainless steel. So pretty simple stuff there. I think it's uh, just enough, you know. I like the little airplane here. I think that's kind of cool. But yeah, anyway, a real simple uh, aviation themed piece here, and I think it's priced right. The quality of this piece and the build and finish is really nice. Um, something you'd see on a more expensive watch, in my opinion, and I was really surprised by this company. Um, you know, I was looking around for a new watch to review. This one really caught my eye, and uh, they sent me a review unit, and I'm really liking this watch. I really do like it. The orange definitely pops on this candle lit hand here. And the loom is really, really nice. So that's another plus. Uh, the loom is really good. Now the total weight of this piece is 120 grams on the rubber strap. And I think it's the perfect weight. It's not too heavy and it's not too light. Uh, you definitely feel it on the wrist. Now this being a 42 millimeter case, this can even fit wrists of people with bigger wrists because of this uh, lug to lug of 52. So it kind of looks good on every wrist size, which is something great that they did here. Now if you did notice, the buckle is black PVD'd as well. We have two keepers here, very nice. Kind of these perforated holes, so if you're sweating, let some air through. Yeah, overall I think they did a great job on this piece. Um, everything is on par, everything lines up perfectly on the bezel, which is a big thing for me. The bezel rotation is great, which is a big thing for me. Um, the movement is actually really accurate, which is very nice. The loom is great, I'm gonna show you that right now. Here is that crazy loom. I mean, this thing is super bright, man. Look at this, look at this loom right here. Um, everything is lit from the pip to all the markers, the 12, the three, the six, the nine, the skeletonized hands, even the candlewick tip on the uh, seconds hand is lit. And as you see, it is not fading. Uh, very nice loom here, very nice. Here is the watch pictured on my 6.2 inch wrist. As you see, the lugs kind of do come a little far out here, but I have a really small wrist. But if you look at it from the top, it uh, fits quite perfectly. And uh, like I said, this watch can definitely fit bigger wrists and smaller wrists as well. Now if I didn't mention, you might see that kind of glare there. This does have AR coating on the crystal, which is also very nice for this price point. Uh, th like I said, this rubber band is really comfortable. Um, I don't know how they got it so soft, but as you see, it conforms right to my wrist. And that's something I really like. Uh, it's definitely really wearable. You know, some rubber straps are really uncomfortable and you gotta change them out, which is kind of a hassle. You will not have to do that with this watch, uh, which is, you know, which is really nice. And uh, yeah, I think they all around uh, put together a great piece here. They do have a couple other models, I believe, uh, in their series, which are pretty nice also. And uh, maybe in the future, I can show you guys some of those. But uh, this one really caught my eye. And also, if I didn't mention, the power reserve on this piece is 41 hours uh, with the Seiko NH35 movement, if you didn't know that as well. So, uh, furthermore, in conclusion, I think they put together a great watch for the price. I mean, it's priced right at $400. Uh, the quality of the case and finish and bezel action uh, definitely stands for $400. 
And uh, I really love the finishing. I like how they put the real screws here to take out the strap. I think that's cool. Something different. You don't see that a lot. And uh, the loom is crazy. Um, <laughs> really good loom. Uh, Compare it to Seiko loom, which is some of the best in the world. Uh, this can definitely par up with Seiko's loom. And it lasts uh, just as long as well. So yeah, all together, I think they put together a really nice watch. It looks good on my wrist. I'm sure it will look good on your wrist as well. If you're interested, I will put their website in the description below with my discount code where you can save $50. So te technically this watch uh, is $350 with my discount code. And this is the Trintec Zulu Co-Pilot. This is the Watch Addict. Let me know what you guys think about this watch in the comment section below. If you haven't, hit that subscribe button in the bottom right corner of the screen. And as always, thank you for tuning in and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.